CP251, it really extends the range of what my synthesizer can do because it's a control processor and it lets me put different kinds of input into the little fatty and change the signal in different ways. The way I have it set up right now is one way to do it. It's doing a lot, but there's also even more different things you can do. For one, um, I've got it set up so that coming into the filter input uh, of the synthesizer, I'm able to um, use some uh, LFO kind of modulation. So now this is just the sound of the little fatty. If I use this attenuator right here, I've got a waveform coming in, which I can then change the rate of. This is the amount. I also have it set up so the sample and hold output is coming into the instrument like this. Change the speed. Right. And I've got a lag processor on the CP251, so watch how it smooths out the sound. So what's really cool is like I've got this pure filter sound on the little fatty, but now if I take what's going on using the sample and hold and also the LFO um, and just play a note and then employ some modulation out of the little fatty, you get this. use the sample and hold module into the lag processor. The sample and hold module generates random high and low voltages, and we know the lag processor can sweep up or sweep down independently, so let's adjust for that. Here's the sample and hold module adjusting pitch, jumping very rapidly from high to low. If we adjust the lag so that anything going up slows down, it'll have a lag going up. Conversely, I can turn it back into normal and then add a lag to only things coming down. Only voltages dropping get away. And then by increasing voltage, we get more of the slow random voltage that we have on this jack over here. Now we're using the control processor, the random out from the sample and hold, to control the filter cutoff frequency on the low pass filter. It's giving us random filter settings jumping from high to low voltages. Now we're using the control processor, the slow random output, to control the sweep of the phaser. So it will randomly jump from setting to setting, but it will smoothly go from one to the next. Now what we're using is the control processor. Let's take the random output from the sample and hold. I'm going to put it through the attenuator so I can turn it up and down. And we're plugging that into control the delay time on the delay. Here's the normal sound without control processor affecting it. I've got nothing through the attenuator. It's a straight simple echo. Now if we adjust the delay time using randomness, this is what it sounds like. The 
attenuators are very easy to use. Just plug a signal into it. In this case, I'm plugging in the LFO sine wave sweeping up and down. We're going to attenuate it going into the filter of the synth. So you can hear it as we put in more and more of the LFO. You'll hear the filter sweep up and down further. <laughs> It's very simple to control. Change the speed of the LFO. Continuate a little bit more, turn it down. I'll demonstrate the multiple to you. We have one source going into it, which is the sample and hold. We go into the input and we have two outputs. The first output is going to feed the pitch. Random pitch. And the second output, carrying the same signal now from the multiple, is going to filter. So whenever the note goes high, the filter will go bright. Whenever the note goes low, the filter will also go down to a dark sound. This is a good example of how the control voltage processor can combine control voltages to one destination. We're going to control the filter cutoff frequency, first with the random sample and hold output. So we've got random filter frequencies right here. And at the mixer, we're combining it with the output of the pedal. So both of those voltages will combine into here, and I can sweep the random sample and hold up or down with my pedal as well, too. Both are adjusting the filter cutoff. Now we're going to use the sine wave LFO from the control processor to control the amount of LFO into the phaser here. So this one is turning up and down the amount. This one is sweeping the phaser up and down. You'll hear that come in and out because we're controlling the amount here. We're made it up to a basic polyphonic synth sound. We're going to run it through the ring modulator. We're going to use the square wave LFO built into the ring modulator to move it up and down from high to low. We're also going to adjust the speed of this square wave with a square wave coming out of here. So we're going to make this one run fast, slow, fast, slow as it puts out a high and low voltage. You'll hear the original sound here, very normal. And here's the ring modulated version. Again, it does a really good job of mutating sounds from what the normal tone is. Something completely different. Yeah. 